Okay, I'm going to show you how to draw a figure using the ancient Egyptian canon. This is a picture that I drew last year for this project. And I'm just going to sort of draw another one. Um, and there's not... Um, at this time, I'm going to draw David Bowie as Ziggy Stardust. This is like um, a famous rocker from my dad's generation. But he's one that I think is fun and cool and should be fun to draw so yeah i did myself for this one so this time i'm going to do ziggy stardust first thing you want to do is um make uh your your line for the 18 units oh that's 19 isn't it all right so let me measure out 18 units now i'm choosing for my unit centimeters just because it happens to be a pretty good size for this drawing for the piece of paper so it works out pretty nice so there i measured 1 to 18 that's 18 centimeters this line is 18 centimeters long now there's not really a rule for how wide it should be like for instance how wide the feet should be i just made mine like nine i don't know i was just sort of eyeballing it you don't have to it doesn't really matter we're not going to draw the whole grid it's more like um it's more like just, uh, wait, ah, oh, I have these cords that are in the way. <laughs> there we go. It's more like, um, just a few key points that we want to, to draw. So, um, I'm going to mark that line for the hairline. And then what, what was the other line? Uh, 11 is an important one, uh, for the ancient Egyptians, at least 11, is where they would draw the belly button. So, oh, oops. That's 11 from the bottom, not 11 from the top. I was measuring 11 from the top. So not 11 from the top. Let me flip that around. 11 from the bottom would be right here. So the belly button's gonna be there. And um, two down from the top. Two down from the top is where the shoulders should start. So that's going to be the neck and the shoulders. One up from the bottom is the ankle. So that should be the ankle. And I think I like what the lady said in the demo. Um, for about six from the six from the bottom. One, two, three, four. Wait. All right, let's just find six. There we go. Six from the bottom for the for the sort of the base of the knees. All right, so let's uh, let's draw out this grid here a little bit. And it's not going to be a full grid. It's just sort of a partial grid. This is this is the shoulders. Shoulders. This is going to be what was this? Was this the the navel? It seems so high, doesn't it? But okay, the navel. And then this is the knee, uh, above the knees, top of the knees, top of knees. And then this is the ankle. Okay. I'll just draw a line out for these points too. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and draw David Bowie in here. Ziggy Stardust. I'm going to draw David Bowie, Ziggy Stardust. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm just sort of going to draw like a general sort of head. Uh, now, this is the hairline, right? This is the hairline. So like this is the face. The face is going to be in here. Um, and let's see. This is the shoulders. So, yeah, maybe, I don't know. Something like that. Cause we got a little bit of the head coming up above. And then, well, this was supposed to be the shoulders, but I don't know. Mine is kind of there. I'll move his chin up a bit like that. Got the neck. I feel like the shoulders are gonna be a little, little bit um sort of squished if i make them up a little that high you know so all right belly button here and 
Maybe something like this. Somewhere around here. I gotta look at my picture of David Bowie, so let's see what kind of costume he's wearing. Actually seems like he's wearing something that pretty high-waisted pants there, old 1970s style. All right, so this is the knee, and then gonna have this foot going all the way back here. And there is his foot. So this would be the ankle, right? This is the ankle. This is the top of the knee. This should be the bottom of the knee. Guess he'll have the calf. Calf that comes out like that. And let's see. Something like that, maybe. And he's got stripes on his clothes, but I'll wait for a moment before I put those on. He's got a funny jacket that he's wearing here, but I'll wait for a moment before I do that. Let me get the arm in. So here's the shoulder. Oh, now she did say in that demo, um, she did say that it could be three out from either side, three units out from either side. So let's see. One, two, three, that's very wide. I don't know if I wanna make mine that wide. I'm gonna make it a little bit less than three. It's like a guide, but it doesn't have to be. Of course, the jacket that David Bowie is wearing is very wide at the shoulders, so maybe I'll push it back out after I, after I draw in the arm. Uh, the hand should stop around the middle of the thigh here. So kind of the hand is supposed to be one unit wide. That's the part of the Egyptian canon. Hand is about one unit wide. All right, I'm going to make him I'm going to make him grabbing a guitar since he's since he's David Bowie. He should have a guitar in his other hand. Now the the Egyptians had a very interesting way of drawing uh the hand when it when it's clothed. It was um you would see the fingers coming out this way and then you would see like the, the thumb on the top, usually. Something like, let me see if I can make it correct here. Like the thumb is like that, usually in the Egyptian paintings. Let's see, so I got the guitar here. Something like that. I don't know what kind of guitar David Bowie played when he was in 
Ziggy Stardust. I kind of imagine it would be like a weird shaped guitar, not like a normal one, but until I find a better example, I'm just do sort of a normal guitar shape, I guess. There's his, there's his thumb. And then the fingers are just very simple in the Egyptian style. They're just sort of like, you know, just sort of very sim simple, simplified. Okay. Huh. A little too big, isn't it? It's for, I think it's a little too big for the body. Let me make that a little smaller. Again, it's supposed to be about one unit wide, so I guess like that, something like that. I don't know. I'll come back to that part. I'll come back to that part later. Okay, well, now we get to make this look like David Bowie. I've got a photo of David Bowie that I'm looking at. Um, hopefully this is gonna help me a little bit. Um, I'm gonna start with the easier part, which is gonna be his clothes. He's got this, so he's got this like um, a high collar here. Sort of high collar coming out around his jacket. And then he has these really weird shoulder pads that are coming like really far out. They're sort of wild. That's part of what makes David Bowie fun is his wild style. So I'm going to draw these big old shoulder pads he's got on here. Let's see. Um, let's see. Something like that. Something like that. And then... The jacket kind of comes down to about here. It's like about where his belly button is. Like I said, it's a sort of like a high-waisted sort of design here. And he's got stripes. That's kind of funny. He's got stripes on this, just sort of like the way that I put myself in a striped shirt in this one from last year. And then he, on his pants, the striped pattern continues all the way down, but then he's got these like almost knee high boots that he's wearing. And then what, uh, it's kind of funny. He's got platform shoes on. Now this is the base of his foot. So if he's wearing platform shoes, really tall platform shoes. Now they're gonna obviously stick out below. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring them out like that. So he's got these red, shiny red patent leather boots with these platform shoes like that. And Let's see here, something like that. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll just continue this striped pattern all the way down.
something like that. All right, um, and he's even got the same stripes on his, on his, this part here. Kind of a monotonous, kind of a monotonous costume really, except for these interesting flares with the, this. But that's cool. At least it shows the form and it, it makes it easy to see what we're looking at here. And again, the ancient Egyptian style for hands is pretty simple. Um, could be fun to show what this looks like colored in. Maybe I'll do that. One, two, three, <laughs> four. All right, now the hard part is going to be, can I draw David Bowie's face accurately? All right, well, I got a picture of his profile view. Profile view is the side view. So I've got a picture of his profile view right here. So this is supposed to be the hairline. I, I was saying, I feel like it's kind of cramped. I feel like I want his neck to be a little, little taller here. Um, but then I feel like it's a little cramped. I'm gonna let it, I'm just gonna let it come up just a wee bit above, just a wee bit above there because I don't want it to feel quite so cramped. And then he's got very poofy hair. Now remember, if that's the hairline, you know, something like this maybe. It's kind of long in the back. He's kind of got a mullet in, in this picture. Very poofy mullet hair. Wee, going back in the back like that. Kind of like, you can see the bottom of his ear. All right, I'm gonna push it up just a little bit up here. Okay, now let's see if I can do this. Let's see, slight angle at the forehead. It's coming in for the nose. He's got a pointy nose. He's like an anime person. You kids should probably like that since everybody seems to like anime. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if this David Bowie does justice to the real David Bowie, but he's kind of like David Bowie. Looks a little bit like David Bowie. Let's see. Let me get now. If I was going to draw him realistically, I would put his eye at the side, but we're drawing in the ancient Egyptian style. So I'm actually going to give him one of those cool Egyptian eyes. I bet David Bowie would like that. <laughs> uh, that doesn't look very good. Let me sharpen my pencil. <clears throat> the Egyptians would draw the eyes from like you were looking straight, straight at them. So that's a little bit different than from the side. From the side, the eye becomes kind of a wedge shape. But let me see if I can... Yeah, I just had to make it a little bit smaller there. 
I'm gonna put like that eye of Horus type of a thing on there. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> that kind of looks like David Bowie a little bit. Yeah, there's a little feeling of David Bowie in here. All right, I did it. <laughs> Not sure how successful it is, but kind of, kind of works. Um, now it would be really cool if I could get that lightning bolt in, cause there's like a, he does this like really famous lightning bolt paint on his face. Sort of looks like that. Might be trying to cram in too much here, but I'm gonna try it anyway. All right. Now, finally, if I can draw a guitar, I guess I should look, I'm gonna look up Ziggy Stardust guitar, guitar. Ziggy Stardust guitar. Oh, he does use just sort of a regular old Fender Stratocaster type of guitar. All right, well, in that case, that's not too hard to draw. Uh, looks like this side goes up a little higher and this side's a little bit lower. Something like that. out to the side a little bit like that. And then you've got the tuning keys out there. Something like that. All right, well, more or less, this is, this part is done. So now the next part, I would probably ink it with some black lines and then color it in. 